Here is Katie, a 23 grand customer who is shopping for a new watch. At 23 grand, she's known as Katie123, a unique identifier that helps us track her activity and deliver personalized messages to her phone. At Airship, this identifier is known as a named user. Katie's just added a watch to her 23 grand shopping cart, but has yet to check out. To encourage her to complete her purchase, we'll send a personalized message. Here is a push notification sent from 23 grand via Airship letting Katie know she's forgotten an item in her cart and providing her a personalized coupon code for 15% off. Should Katie not be opted into push notifications, we have the same message ready to go as an email with more personalized details, including the watch name, image, and description. Let's review how to build abandoned cart messages in the Airship platform. As Katie adds the watch to her cart, a custom event is sent from the app SDK telling Airship that a cart add event has occurred. In this case, the custom event is called added to cart and contains properties such as the product name and product description. This is the event that will trigger the abandoned cart journey. To personalize the message, we'll use several information sources, all coordinated to Katie's named user, Katie123. We'll use event properties from the added to cart custom event to add in the product name and description. We'll use profile attributes to add in Katie's first name into the message. And finally, we'll add in a personalized coupon code from 23 Grand's external data feed. Using these information sources, we'll add in personalization through handlebar logic, as seen here in an Airship email template. To further personalize the experience, we'll add in logic to switch channel delivery based on the user's opted-in status between channels. For the abandoned cart message, we'll prioritize sending a push notification, and should the user be opted out, we'll instead send an email. Powering channel coordination is Airship's named user solution, which ties a user's different channels to a unique identifier. In this case, Katie's named user ID is Katie123, which syncs with 23 Grand's internal identifier for Katie, so she can be tracked across platforms and systems. Lastly, we'll add in a success event so we can track the impact our messaging is having on driving purchases from abandoned carts. When a customer performs the purchase event, they are immediately exited from the journey, whether that's before the first message or any time throughout the journey. Added all together, we can create an abandoned cart journey, in this case, sending messages six hours after the user has abandoned their cart and a follow-up message two days later.